Apple is scheduled to host its product refresh event this coming Tuesday, which is September 15th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Now, what investors are probably asking themselves at this point is whether Apple will uh, unveil the iPhone 12. There have been reports out there, especially from Bloomberg, stating that the new smartphone might not be announced until maybe October. And if that happens, what does it mean for the actual launch date of the new iPhone? That is a big question mark. Uh, this is particularly a problem this year in 2020 because of what we call the 5G super cycle. So if the iPhone 12 with 5G capabilities is not released to the market until much later, uh, there could be a hit to Apple's sales in the very important fiscal fourth quarter of 2020. I think that whether Apple announces the phone or not is probably going to dictate what else happens on September 15th. Um, without an iPhone announcement, it is very likely that Apple will, number one, release the Apple Watch Series 6, and that is pretty much a guarantee, judging even by the name of the event, which is Time Flies. Uh, traditionally, the Apple Watch has been refreshed every September of every year. And then we have the iPad, uh, potentially two models, uh, almost certainly that there will be an entry-level model announced. The last one uh, was unveiled in September of last year, and the entry-level iPad usually gets an upgrade uh, every 12 to 18 months. And the one, uh, I would say the one um, wild card that I would be excited to hear about is what we call Apple One. Apple One is the, uh, the potential bundling of services that Apple is supposed to bring to the market. Uh, it has been talked about for the past couple of months at least. So I think it would be a good surprise uh, for the markets and for investors if Apple does announce Apple One, but it remains a question mark. Uh, and then finally, the Mac. Uh, if you remember back in June during WWDC, which is the developers conference, uh, Apple announced that they would start to, uh, to make their own silicon, their own chips for their, for their Macs, and that production, um, not only production, but the announcement of the new model that uses Apple Silicon uh, would come out later this year. So uh, initially, I thought that that would be more of an October, November event. Uh, but now, if the iPhone is not uh, unveiled in September, uh, there's a possibility that maybe the new Macs uh, will come out on um, September 15th. So those are the big uh, topics of conversation. Once again, if the iPhone doesn't come out in September, that could be bearish. That could be bad news for investors that are betting on the 5G super cycle. Uh, otherwise, I think that the Apple One announcement, if it happens, would be a modestly bullish development for the company and the stock. I will be hosting a, uh, a live blog, so I'll be blogging in real time. Uh, so if you want to follow me, I'll start doing that at uh, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, which is 12.30 Eastern time on September 15th, Tuesday. So just visit thestreet.com slash Apple and you can follow along with me. Uh, I'll be glad to have you there. Thank you so much. Have a good week.